help me welcome the next president of the United States. Senator Tim Scott and Congressman Trey Gowdy introduced Marco Rubio in a packed ballroom at the Spartanburg Marriott. South Carolina will be definitive and determinative, and I need your vote. Rubio told the crowd he would get rid of Obamacare, rebuild the U.S. military, and defend the Constitution. I think he would have the strongest chance to beat them, and I think he just has a strong leadership ability. Haley Phillips will vote for the first time in this election. She and her sister, who are from Asheville, already made up their minds. We think he's the, the best candidate. He's just a nice opportunity. Clemson students Bailey Belcher and Nazifa Islam say this speech in Spartanburg made them decide to support Rubio. He's not focused completely on politics. It's like about the people and America in general instead of rather than just like, oh, I want to win, just be president. Rubio says he's disappointed in his standing in New Hampshire and he won't let that or his performance in the last debate affect the South Carolina debate. So we're prepared and we're ready. I know what I believe in. I'm ready. I hope they ask us good policy questions. It's time for some policy debate in this campaign. Not everyone here was on Rubio's side. Two men from a Democratic super PAC came in from New Hampshire. They say they dressed as robots to drive home Chris Christie's point that Rubio acts like a robot. It kind of raises some questions about your readiness to be in commander in chief if you can't handle Chris Christie and an idiot in a robot costume. But Rubio says he is the conservative Democrats don't want to run against. Come out and help us. I need your support. If you didn't get the chance to see Marco Rubio here in Spartanburg, you have a few other chances to catch him in the upstate this week. We'll tell you when and where coming up tonight at 6 o'clock. Mike McCormick, WIFF News 4 in Spartanburg.